to in the series on me uh, visits to the local nature reserves, National Wildlife, the uh, Staffordshire Wildlife Trust. So I've just pulled up in the car because I've noticed that this, I always pick the signs up here. So yeah, I'm glad they cut the, the grass back here. It's gone a bit overcast, but it's okay. Tuesday it is. Um, I just want to get that. I always get my signs and take a photo of that. So yeah, we're in the Staffordshire Moorlands, as you can clearly see. And we're in Marshes Hill, or about to enter Marshes Hill Common. Comes from the Staffordshire Moorlands District Council. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this. It's really muggy. It's gone a little bit overcast, but it's made it a little bit more bearable. Because when the sun comes out, I've got to say, <laughs> and all the moaning I've done about the bad weather we've had, it's gone really warm. Quite uh, clammy, almost thundery type weather. But there is a little bit of a cool breeze coming up this bank, but that's the view from here on the entry point to it, and we can see Mount Cop from here. So I'm glad I've stopped to take them signs there. You see in the distance, just to your right of the Telegraph Pole, that's uh, Mount Cop. You always say castle, but I don't think it is a castle, it used to be a place of worship. Worship. It's not a church either. I think it was something to do with the Druids years ago, just to travel in from the surrounding counties and that for meet up place. But yeah, as you can see, quite a good view. The surrounding area, there's um, I would say that's more the Shropshire area around to the left and Cheshire over the bank there. More towards that direction because you've got the Cheshire Plains more level and flat out land. Right, so that's my intro video anyway to this walk, so I'm hoping it's going to be a nice walk. Um, like I say, the fourth in the series of my local nature reserve walks within a, and I think it's about a 14 mile radius I've worked out. This is coming up at just under seven mile away from my homestead in the Longton area, so right, so I'll knock this one off for my first video. Go on to the next one, shall we? Okay, we've just uh, done the driving, short driving off the main road, um, and this is it. Let's just get this sign. Oh, Melly at the moment is looking to the, the tongue on your nose, it's got quite warm. I've just uh, done a drink there, ready <laughs> for the walk, and there's just oh, yeah, come on, are you having any chewy? Go on, Mel. Have you chewy? Good girl. There we go. <laughs> Bit of a snack before we set off. So this looks like a laugh. Bit more like uh, scrub land here. And then obviously it's going to be walking around in these, or near to these uh, woods and copses. This is going to be a nice walk, but look at the view. Can't find out where that is there. Cop, we're sort of going north of the city, round Chell, yeah, kind of just make Hanley out, I think, there. The high rises in Hanley, slightly over the bank. And then you can make it out on this, it's coming up quiet. Yeah, it'll pixelate now, yeah, so that's Hanley you can just about make. And obviously, we've got north of the city, going up to uh, Tunstall, Kids Grove, Mount Cop. Oh, Mount Cop over here, and that's a uh, direction. So that's not going to be Tunstall there at all. I haven't got a clue. Anyway, <laughs> Beatrice had him that way, Snake Green, I would think. Right, let's get this sign, and these are the pathways. I'm going to have a look see what if they've got any marked routes on this walk. Yeah, we've got a route here. Yeah. They take a circular as you can see here. So, this car park, so take either side. I'll take the top one, come round, around here, and back. See, forward enough. That'll do us. Let's get on it. Okay, and we're off, aren't we, Mel? Yeah, I've watered in fat here, so, well, not fat, it's had a bit of a snack with the chewy sticks. Got the chewy sticks. And here it is.
if I remember when I complete the walk, what I will do, I'll just let you know how long it took me to do the walk. And then you've got more idea for yourselves if you decide to come up where you're on Marshes Hill Common and the brown edge area of Stoke on Trent. I will say Stoke on Trent because it's near his city, it actually comes under Staffordshire Moorlands. So it gives us some idea what we're looking at. Okay, that's New Chapel directly in front of me, which is a Cheshire area, which I did say because it's kind of the other side of Mount Cot, which is in Cheshire, it's well, Staffordshire, Cheshire border area. Um, yeah, Mount Cot's marked up there, but you make it out, I can only make that out. And then over that way, we have definitely got the reeking. It's marked on here. I can't make those aisles out as sharp as I've done in the past. And then, further over, which is the south, is Brown Edge itself, nearest place. The St Anne's Church should be showing somewhere. Oh yeah, right in front of us there. St. Anne's Church, Brown Edge. And to the east, which is marked up on here, just put the glasses on, there's a place called Morridge, Ramshire Rocks and the Roaches. Over that way. So we've got the Roaches over there, which is the Lick area, the Cashbowl area. Ashbourne meeting further on, of course. And finally, where have I already done it? Oh yeah, the north, Biddulph Moor. Round about there, so that's north. And I'll do another 360 pan around slower. And I think it's nice. Just wish it was a little bit clearer. It's looking a little bit hazy. Just starting to drop down a little bit now off the top there. And I've just seen a little breakaway path there, and I'm wondering whether, when I've looked at that map, it does does seem a bit alien to the walk, be honest with you. But there is a bench down there, so that is a driven path. I'm hoping I'm gonna go to the end of the path out down here as it goes round the bottom and then comes up somewhere so it can have a proper good walk. But yeah, in the main, with it being a moor's walk, you've got heather and gorse and blackberry. Yesterday there was sun and there was rain. See now, I thought we would have been able to branch off. Well, there is a road down there, I don't think there's nothing stopping us getting onto those B roads there. But I don't want to go on the road with here. It's not going to be overly busy, is it? I mean, it's stuck out in the sticks, but I'll we'll see. I'll we'll see where it goes to. But it looks like Farmer's Field there because there's all equipment in that field there. 
I'm thinking this is going to loop around, we'll probably come round the bottom there where all the other is and uh, back up to the top there so it's not a massive walk I've now been on this about 12, 12 minutes max, 15 and I've stopped 2 or 3 minutes until so yeah 10 minutes into it but it's nice, I'll take a few photos now started to drop down even further there are a few trails breaking off the main path as you can see down there but is it worth me taking it because this is pretty much kind of the same stuff but the side of that wall there we'll have a look do you know what come on mill let's go have a milly about mill <laughs> alan and milly investigates some really good uh, footwear in the boot just in case it's uh, the terrain's a bit rough or it's really wet as I remember pulling a few well a couple of weeks ago after I forget where I'd been I got back home I was soaked so I thought and I've got wallies as well but I aren't I'm not keen wearing wallies to be honest I find them uncomfortable but uh, I've got these hiking they're not boots they're like a trainer but they are they're all right, they're robust and they're good round the ankles, protect the ankles and that, so yeah. Anyway, besides that, yeah, I'm glad I just uh, took the detour because it's changed a little bit. track oh that was a nice little loop around so yeah yeah off here we go i won't go to the end of there but yeah i'll come, probably have to come back on myself and go around on that that loop walk but i'm in down here let's investigate mill come on let's go for it again i like i always like to get a shot of this and take a irs picture of this dry stone walls get it to demolish things I mean that looks like finely balanced on top but that'll probably be in the next hundred years if nobody moves it or displaces it. I don't think the weather will even move it. Nothing. It's all like trapped in aren't they? Wow, it's like a microclimate. It's got about five degrees warmer here just. Which we're hemmed in by that wall and all this growth around us here. publicly accessible I would think because there's no signs private or anything but that's coming out of the main well, I'll drop down off the off the moors as such and I'll come dropping down all the time but more dry stone walls here gathering moss yeah, they haven't been messed with Aldi for many years but as you can see here this is going to this property where I think this path will continue on. Like I say, I've seen no private signs or anything, so I think this is a public right away. We'll see where it leads to. Oh, 
few miles on this. This could be getting a little bit more interesting, this could he? It's becoming a little bit more overgrown, so I'm sure there's not that many uh, dog walkers use this part of the route. I'm sure hikers would. Any man, milk, eh, uh, milk, yeah, so we have. I think this is about as far as it can go because this gives you some idea. Yeah, you can continue to walk on. Well, I'll sit down on that bank I'll far there because it's packed like an egg chuff of training on. Um, and then we'll make his way back, but we'll go in the bottom end on that loop round pathway. Okay, look, we're getting closer to Mount Cop now, look. I don't know if you can make it out because this is now blurring out on me. Because I'm just trying, I'm zooming in and I know it pixelates. That's uh, my cop castle. I won't call it castle for now. And yeah, so this is kind of the end of this walk. Well, it's not actually. So you, as you can see, clearly see, you can continue to go over. I don't know whether just walk back with here because we're going down these steps here. And through that gate. Should make it all right, but... Why stress her out? Find her, sit down. Oh yeah, I don't have to. I could pull her through here, couldn't I? And I could get under here. We'll go under there. Come on, Mel. We'll go under here. I'll stop this for now. Five minute rest before we make our way back. So yeah, I've just come on the other side. We've just, well, I've just gone under there, snagged me almost ripped me um, shirt as I'm coming out. I didn't notice that strand of barbed wire across the top. I haven't ripped it, but it snagged it. Are you warm enough, Mel? Listen to you. Just going to give her five minutes before we set off again. I'm sat here, nice and comfy. Taking the scenery in. Lovely. And the peacefulness. Steady, steady Mel, go on, good girl, you can do it, go on, go on, you're all right, good girl, good girl, good girl. I thought you'd struggle a little bit up that one Mel, come on, let's get a move on, you don't want no checks do you, come on, go on, keep going, good girl, good girl, right, good girl. I'll go with portraits with this, now we're going back. That was a pathway I came down earlier and then obviously shot off down there where I've had a rest, which is about what well, all of two or three minutes walk. And you can walk further further on if you wish. Alright, now we're on the road aren't we? I'm hoping there's a cut off off this road somewhere. If there isn't, we'll do it. It's not over busy. From Oakamore yeah, down yeah. to Stone Area, yeah, Ecclesall yeah. and round that way. And I thought, um, just been having a right good chat with that fella there on that wagon. He's from Lancaster. The city of Lancaster, not Lancashire. And I was just, <laughs> I was talking like as if I'm a local at first. I was on about like I'm doing all the 
local nature reserves, 26 or 27 in total, like within a 12 mile radius of Longton. And when I said to him, do you know the long, he said he knew it anyway. So I said from there, starting point. So I'm rattling away to him like as if he's a proper local. And I said, are you, you've got a bit of a twang. I said, are you from the Lick area? He says, no, I'm from Lancaster. I thought, oh, crikey. But yeah, he's familiar with the area. He says he does a lot of drops around here. Anyway, yeah, it's a nice talk. Yeah, pleasant enough, you know. He's having a lazy time while he's on his dinner break, sitting on his trailer. failed to pick up the lower pathway. I should have gone off on the path when I first come out where I were rested. Gone to the left rather than the right. Anyway, doesn't matter, I've enjoyed it. It's a pleasant day and it's certainly warm enough. And we've got some blue skies showing you through. And then that's a uh, funny looking stuff we've got in the sky now and again. I won't go into that. If you read into my other videos you'll know what I'm on about. Up the bank mill, last dike, last processes mill, and we're back to the car. Grand, I've enjoyed it. Right, folks, I'm going to end this here, I think, because there's not much more to see. Only that uh, blue sky that's now pushing through. Uh, I'll just thank you for looking in again taking the time. I hope you've looked this or watched this video all the way through, but it doesn't really matter. So if you just keep calling in and checking out what I'm doing, well, you know what I'm doing for the next 24, 20, this is a fourth one, 27, 23 more visits to do um, on these uh, local nature reserves in and around the Stoke, Stoke on Trent area, Staffordshire Moorlands, Staffordshire County, Newcastle Borough goes into them areas. Uh, yeah, well, that's what we're covering. Anyway, I'll say it again. Thanks for looking in. Been great company. And till next time, be good, stay healthy, and take care. Bye for now.